Well, hello my brave knights, princesses and princesses, and welcome to Mr. Case Files Malls for Flame Survey. Now, from the looks of this, it looks like we're back in the Ravenhearts Manor again. And also, one of the newspapers mentioned Madame Fate's Carnival being solved, and a bunch of other unsolved apparent cases that have yet to come to light. Now, the last Mr. Case Files game, The Countess, was terrible. Let's just put it out there. It was, it was not a Mr. Case Files game. Now that, that should have been more of a, you know, a uh, fear for sale or paranormal files type of thing. But, we're going to see what they're going to do with this one. I have hopes. That's all I have right now. Rewind was good, so was Black Veil. Those were the only two so far that actually were good made by Epic so far, for those that want to know. Detective, several top secret files have gone missing from the agency. This is a delicate mission, requiring a low profile approach, so we are sending you alone. We have reliable information that the files are at the Zenith Museum of Oddities. The museum is abandoned, so feel free to explore every corner. Good luck, Detective. Okay, first of all, what happened to the Queen? As a detector of sources indicate the files are somewhere near the Zenith Museum of Oddities. Explore the area and find them. Retrieve them should, them should be your top and only priority here. Along with this layer, you are given a Mac. A mechanical automatic companion. Mac has a prototype reserved only for the best. They can scout the area, reach places you can't, and even retrieve flight or loads. Wow. Talk about technology. I like this, so far. Okay. Okay, so, let's see what we got. We have our journal. You could say it's not the world of himself. The Zenith Museum of Oddities is a life project of Sir Prescott Sterling III, a genius and a total awe. While the building has been closed for decades, but still looks impressive, I somewhat regret not seeing the museum in its full glory. Sir Prescott Sterling III was the founder of the museum, was one of the strangest people to ever walk these lands, having 14 pairs of ribs. He always felt out of place. So he started traveling the world in search of all odd things, eventually decided to preserve the odd things he found, and thus the Zenith Museum of Oddities was born. So we have a nice little nifty robot buddy now. But we're missing the Queen, which I'm not necessarily going to complain about.
Sterling Prescott, world traveler, collector of peculiarities, and founder of the Zins. Zivadi, a place for all great but misunderstood things. Uh huh. Wait, Watson. I think I figured out the order. I need to press the pairs year and event. Museum tiles go first. World tour wasn't last, but it goes right after death. So nothing to say about that card, huh? Okay. Okay. I guess we kind of have to guess. Okay, that was a little bit more difficult than I wanted it to be, but okay. So here's our first Indian object scene. I'm pretty sure... There will be morphing objects in the full game. There always is. Well, someone did. Get it! Good boy. BP. Oh, interesting.
Oh, welcome. Welcome to the Zenith Museum of Oddities, a gallery for magnificent and misunderstood things. I shall be your guide. Let us begin. The first thing you need to know is... Was very interesting at automate amount of tones. Once you have the cylinder figuring out this one's dialog jump start isn't that hard. You just need to rotate the buttons on the right position. C W A M B P. Even the lights are working at least. Chloe Watson, log update. I've arrived at the site. It looks abandoned. I think I saw someone in the Spire Dome. Exploring it should reveal some clues. First. Okay. Okay, so I don't have any of the tools to open anything or do anything. is that the tour begins at 2 p.m. When the clock chimes twice, the door will open so we can begin. Okay. Let me adjust the clock hands. That will open the door. It seems like somebody really doesn't want us to get in here. Starts at Yeah, 
Every letter has one. The one I sent to the first victim did not. A stamp. So still a lot of legwork ahead, so at least I wasn't wearing heels. If he spent less time grooming his facial hair, he'd have seen the trap. My metamorphosis began after catching the first one. The second one was drawn in like a gullible insect to an open flame. She very quickly, I guess the invitation ruffled her feathers. She was quick to throw safety out the window, so it was easy to pin her down. I was shaking as I captured another one. It felt like being carried by the wind. <laughs> the third one came next. I played him as if I had him on a string. Remove the loose ends like a reptile's tail and hope they wouldn't grow back. My plan started as a blank sheet of paper, but my genius unfolded into something beautiful. After the third, I need just one more. Four of you plus me is a magic number, so five, you say? Welcome to the museum. Enjoy your tour. I will be right behind you. That's not assuring whatsoever. <laughs> the old crochet pet peeve of it's dark, but you can see everything. Only this time, they're using it to their advantage. P C W What does that even spell? Huh. So these people are all from Mr. Case Files. Let's see. Chloe's folder says she's had a great interest in the Ravenheart's cases, but she retired after being exposed to the Soul Collector for too long. It seems that silver hair is one of the side effects. The folder said that Aiden is a MC of veteran, having worked on numerous cases. The men of fake cases were the most entertaining to him, at least until he retired. Blake Parker was a young, prosperous agent. This is what his file says at least. He retired due to health problems. Being an agent takes a toll on a person. Hmm. 
That's interesting. <laughs> okay, game. Master Detective, if you pick up my head, I could help you. After all, two heads are better than one. Really? I'm sorry for attacking you there. I don't know what happened. I lost my head. Literally. Get it? It appears that you're trapped in the museum. Since you're here, I would suggest exploring every room. There are many wondrous things to see. Feel free to use my head to look at anything interesting you find. I should preserve my batteries now. Good luck, detective. How interesting. So much stuff here. Oh, one eight seven three. So we have a code, but I don't know what for. Badges only. Oh yes, the Delmore family. I recognize this from Ravenhurst. Never thought I'd run into these people again. So cut was what? One eight seven three. Well, well. Rayner's kisses were among the hardest ones I've ever had. There were several clashes with the Dalmore family, and each one was more difficult than the last. Alistair Dalmore, the family's eldest, gave me a real challenge. Even Tantos, but Raven was a serious threat. Indeed, he was. So, this game is trying to play off nostalgia just like they did in Black Veil.
No, it's just a matter of remembering which one is Charlotte and which one's Gwendolyn. That looks all too familiar. This game is seriously playing out nostalgia. Which is a good thing. I don't can't really do anything with you yet. I do have the Raven Arts house though. You said to get. No, I can't. Okay. Where do we need a Ravenclaw in this debauchery of a place? Right here. Mars aids in the Demolire family evil deed of a lot of influence on work, especially Alistair. He was a true genius. Of course, people would, someone would call Alistair a true genius if they didn't understand what he was truly trying to do. I'm smelling a Madame Fate. It's gonna be grumpy if they, we don't feed them, hmm? So this is just- this is just a whole bucket of nostalgia right now. Did I just- did for okay? Thank <laughs> you. 
So I need to put something there. We also have a tile. If I remember correctly, there would be tiles... Not here. Some... There, here. No, frogs don't fly. Okay, we have bells. Reinforced glass. Hmm. That's going to be quite the challenge, I feel. Let's give this cat some tuna fish. You know, whoever made this had A, a lot of time on their hands, and B, nothing better to do, and C, a lot of money. Somehow. <laughs> there, they just went nuts. Oh, no. Okay. Thank goodness they don't repair themselves when you get one wrong. Because that would greatly upset me. You guys still remember that one match puzzle we did where they would fix, they would swap themselves after every one you did wrong? Drove me crazy. Like, you want to drive someone nuts with a puzzle, make it, you know, change itself every f now and then. So you can't memorize the, um, pattern. Okay, so that's it for that. Oh, it's the clown guy. And Fate's crystal ball. And I had hope. <laughs> that would have it that would have blasted off. Why? I'm beginning to think that Epix is listening to me in a sense because I do talk a lot. And I am someone who plays these games and loves these games to death and will defend um, Black Veil and rewind the day I die. Thank goodness they didn't call it what they were going to call it, though. 
I think they are listening. Because I told them that they should take the nostalgia that they've been doing with Rewind. <laughs> and with, um, the other one. Black Veil. And just run with it. And that's my guess to why they've been taking so long with this game. Because they're just, they probably were sitting there and they're just like, okay. Is this enough nostalgia for you? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> it's like every game combined into one. Although, in all honesty, I wouldn't call this one a moth to a flame. Even though we are, quite frankly, moths to a flame. See, I was a little scared at first when I saw the, um... The, this guy in the menu. When I first opened the game. But now, I'm actually interested. I've tried several cases that Master Detective was working on, but they're impossible. I must have missed something. I still can't solve them. It's infuriating. There must be something I'm missing. Still nothing. He must have cheated. Or guessed. Or something. There is no explanation for this. I'm a genius. <sighs> Maybe it's time to think outside the box. I mean, let's be honest. Our cases, compared to everyone else's, we've been through the Ravenhurst Manor many times. We went through Dire Grove twice. Um, we've been through a lot of stuff. Like, a lot of things. So, him questioning our... our ethics, as it were. Okay, there's a coat of arms. I mean, he wasn't there. And that's something I would argue. You weren't there, dude. You didn't experience it. You might be trying to solve them, but you're not experiencing them. The way we did. I have no idea. Oh, I have to... Okay. Okay, this is easier than I thought it would be. Let's see... Four and then five and then six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve. Um, I have two cards, and I don't know what to do with them. You have to forgive the times when my mind goes blank. I couldn't tap into Man Fate's magic, but I learned that deception would could do wonders. That's how I trapped all the agents here. Huh. I guess we're done with that. What's going to be next? Dara Grove? Or the Dalmore Manor? Okay, this looks like Escape from Ravenhurst with the whole organ. No, this could also be from Black Veil. <laughs> I have to now guess. You're really putting me on the spot, Epix.
Okay, this just looks like a bunch of stuff that I don't want to mess with. Let's go up here. Let's not go up here. Um. Oh, that was cool. Bust it. So he found Fabio and killed him. Wow. We haven't seen Fabio since, you know, Fate's Carnival. Okay, we need to add weight, apparently, okay. Chewing gum and a child's doll. There probably will be achievements too for this game. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not ready to be astounded, even though I am so far. Just so you know, we've been playing this game for an hour. I haven't stopped. That's just how entertained I've been. Which is a good thing. Hidden object games don't often do that with me, and that's why I love Mr. Case Files so much, is because it can do that. So it looks like we need to add more stuff to this guy. Okay, so now we can go and do that one puzzle. What am I doing here? Okay. Okay. I studied the broken hour case thoroughly, I haven't solved it yet, but at least I learned that I need to know to create Mac for the naive so-called Mr. Detective. So this guy thinks I'm a fraud because of the supernatural things that happen in my cases. What a guy. Let's see what we have to say here. Now, fake cases had so many unique characters, the whole trip to the carnival would have been nice except for the murders. And face car, I don't generally believe in magic, but that wagon made me doubt myself more than once. Broken hour, a case set in Huxley's boarding house. There are so many machines, cogs, and clocks there, and they're all deadly. I was lucky to get out in one piece. Rules had to be followed at all costs. Now, following the rules would often result in pain the ultimate price terrible times. Again, the guy is judging us by looking from the outside. He never is experiencing stuff. And that's the sad part. Is that now we're having someone looking at us from the outside and they're like, they, he couldn't have solved this. And I'm like, ah, well, 
We did. <laughs> did that do? Oh, I'm dumb. I'll save my thoughts for when this is over. Because there's a lot I want to say. Providing you guys are still here by the end, by this time. Okay. I've calibrated the machine successfully, and the tests in Spire are going smoothly. Now to set the bait. A forged letter will be enough. I'll be honest, thus far I've been pretty impressed with this game. Is there anything else for saying no? Okay. Okay then. If you're not all getting a feeling of trepidation like I am, then you're not invest in it as invested in this game as I am. Okay, so two isn't even number three is an odd, right? What does this even mean? Oh, we're missing a piece. 
Talk tank and merited schedule. Okay then. A lot of these puzzles are you guessing. Okay. The door is open. Hello. So he built all of this just to test us, as it were. What do I even do with this? Okay, let's have a look at the other one. Okay. Okay, so this one is for him, her. Restraints were a little too tight. Ugh. Uh huh. I don't think there's any way out of the sphere. The archivist must have the unlock sequence. Who knows where that maniac is now? Something tells me the controls for releasing us all are in that central sphere. So he's called the archivist, huh? That's cool. 
So since this guy basically took, um, Black Veil and took it to a whole new level, I like this guy. I thought I'd never get out of here. Now, let's find a way out of this mess. Don't worry about me. I'll be okay. Find the one who did this, and make him pay. Stay on your toes around the Archivist. We let our guard down, and look what happened. Last but not least, dude person. What a relief! Thanks! It's an honor to meet you, Master Detective. I wish it were under better circumstances. I have no doubt you'll find a way to set us free. If anyone can do it, it's you. Of course, because I'm an awesome detective. As I reiterate... challenge <laughs> but I suppose even I can be wrong occasionally you aren't fit to be called a detective let alone a master I've been toying with you from the very beginning and you never suspected a thing <laughs> you're not my equal but I'll still find a use for you you will all pay Okay, right, so here are my thoughts about this game. Basically, it's what I've been saying. They basically took the nostalgia of Black Veil, and they upped it a lot. Which is good. It's good. This game kept me playing it for about an hour and, nine, and 20 minutes now, which is awesome. Um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be more to this game. And all I'm hoping, Epix, is that you guys, you know, keep this up. This is a Mystery Case Files game. It's not because of the nostalgia. It's more because the um the whole Countess one was just terrible. <laughs> it didn't feel like a Mystery Case Files. This feels like a Mystery Case Files. All right, this does. I really don't have any complaints about the game. Anything I said about it, it doubling on nostalgia and stuff, it's fine. But I don't know. The name Monster Flame. I mean, sure, every single one of us kind of ran like a flock to this um guy, as it were, because he baited us. But. <laughs> 
but I'm happy that you guys are listening. Because I sometimes feel like you guys aren't, but... It's just after so many mystery case files where they're either subpar or they're below average and you put out games like Black Veil and Rewind and it's like that's better. I will play this game fully when it comes out and as of right now I'm adding this game to my list of favorite mystery case finals games because this could redeem you guys. Um, I also will play Haunted Hotel when it comes out. Hopefully you guys... Hopefully? Um, you know, did what I asked there. But this is what Mr. K's Files is about. It's not about, you know, mirrors or necessarily the paranormal. There is paranormal stuff. It's about the adrenaline rush, the excitement, the puzzles, and the fact that we are the master detective for a reason. This guy that thinks he's better than us, he didn't go through these cases. Like, you can look at files all day and try to solve them, but you weren't there. That's what I would say. You weren't there. You didn't expect experience it in person so I'm sorry but just because you can't solve them doesn't mean they it weren't true it just means you weren't there to understand that there was more than just you know a simple solution that was stuff that was happening so that said I hope you guys enjoyed if you got this far that's awesome there will be a lot of cutting, so you should be able to. So leave a like and subscribe, because there's always room for more. And <sighs> See you next video.